I'm Chris Bagg of Chris Bagg Coaching. In this video, we're gonna talk about using heart rate along with power and how the two of them together are a lot better than just heart rate alone. Heart rate monitoring has been around for a really long time, 1980s, early 1990s. It's a very effective tool for training and telling you what's going on in your body right then. Unfortunately though, a heartbeat is not always a heartbeat. Uh, the data that you're getting doesn't necessarily line up to the conditions that are around you. If you're dehydrated, your heart rate is gonna be higher than normal, and so many races these days take place in really, really hot conditions, and dehydration is a real issue. If you're sick, your heart rate will also be higher than normal. Uh, if you're at altitude, your heart rate will be higher than normal. Uh, if you're hungover, your heart rate will be higher than normal. Um, and conversely, if you are hungry or you're tired, your heart rate may be lower than normal. So what's really useful is if you use a heart rate monitor in conjunction with your power meter, because your power meter can tell you what normal is. A watt is always a watt, as opposed to a heartbeat never always being a heartbeat. So let's go back to our example athlete who is doing an Ironman, and she's trying to hold 170 watts over the course of that race. In her training, she knows that when she's around 170 watts, she tends to be like 130 to 135 beats per minute. But she's at a really hot race and she notices, oh, I'm riding at my goal wattage, but my heart rate is like 10 beats higher. It's in the like 140s. So she might say to herself, ah, I know what's happening. I'm getting dehydrated. I know that because my power is the same, but my heart rate's going up. So she can start taking on some more fluids to try to bring that heart rate back into line. On the other hand, maybe she's rolling along at 170 watts and her heart rate is in the 120s. She can't do much about fatigue, uh, but she can say, okay, maybe I'm not taking on enough calories. And so she can start eating some more food to try to bring that heart rate up into the correct range. So a heartbeat is not always a heartbeat, but a watt is always a watt. If you're doing 200 watts, you're doing 200 watts. That's the effort that you're going with. So it can be really useful to use heart rate in conjunction with your power meter to effectively know what's happening in your body at that particular moment. Again, I'm Chris Bagg with Chris Bagg Coaching. Thanks so much for hanging out with me today and talking about power. And thanks to Pioneer Cycle Sport for making this possible.